What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over what permissions you should have for your staff team, and um, pretty much how to set it all up. So uh, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so I'm in the um, roles section of my Discord, and you guys can see right here we have kind of like this staff category of all the roles so it spans from staff the staff role to trial moderator chat moderator regular moderator administrator staff council and then senior admin so i'm going to show you guys which ones are um pretty much mandatory out of all of these roles and then which ones i added in personally uh just because i think it helps sort it all out so uh right here we have the regular staff role um i think this staff role is mandatory because if a member in your server needs a staff member fast um it would probably be easier for them to be able to ping just the staff role instead of a specific rank of staff so that is why i have the staff role then i have the trial moderator role which means um this is the role that an applicant will get um when they first get accepted to make sure that they're not here to ban everyone and like do terrible things to the server and also to test their abilities of being a staff member um, and then there's the chat moderator, which is the same as a moderator, but um, a person will receive the chat moderator role if they don't have a microphone. So this is one of those roles, the chat moderator role, that you do not need at all, but it's nice to have, you know, it's it's okay. So we'll go over the permissions over that. Then we have the moderator role, which all of you guys know, it's helped to moderate. Then we have the administrator role. It's kind of the same thing as a moderator, but um, has more permissions. Then you have the staff council, once again, not needed. And then the senior admin, not needed. Um, the senior admin is just someone that will look over the whole staff team and pretty much is the boss of all the staff other than the head of staff. Um, and then the staff council is, I added this to show that all of these roles right here, owner, assistant, server management, head of staff, and senior admin, all of those are st the staff council. So they will go over all of the staff and they'll make the final decisions. So let's go over the permissions now. So the regular staff role, if I'm correct, it doesn't really have any permissions. It's just a normal role. Um, and that's because you don't want to give it any specific permissions because there's different ranks. So it wouldn't make sense for um, this to have any permissions on it uh, other than the normal ones. So for a trial moderator, um, pretty much what a trial moderator can do is manage messages. And that's about it. So you start off being a trial moderator with little to no permissions other than the basic ones and being able to delete someone else's message. So this is all of my preference. Um, this is all my uh, my vision on what, you, what I think is good. You guys can obviously take all of these pinpoints and edit them yourselves, but uh, this is just how I do it. So trial moderator pretty much only has the permission to delete other people's messages. And that's for the reason that they're starting off as a staff member and they're, we're going to be testing their abilities to see if they're good enough to get promoted. So uh, the first step with that is at least look over the text channels and see if they can uh, moderate those. Then we have the chat moderator, which is pretty much the same as a trial moderator, except they have the permission to kick members. Um, it's the same as um, a moderator, I should say, actually. They're the same thing. Um, it's just the only difference is the chat moderator uh, doesn't have to moderate voice channels because they don't have a... Uh, a microphone. So we're going to forget about the chat moderator for now and really go over the permissions of a moderator. So a moderator now has the permissions to manage roles and emojis. Um, the reason being is they can uh, add emojis because personally I think if you're a staff member you should be able to uh, add emojis to the server, add some life, um, and add some of your preferences. And then man manage roles because in my server I have a warning system which we can see all the way right here warning strike and staff blacklisted so i think moderators should be able to hand out warnings so they can uh, give people roles which means they need to have this permission um they have the permission to kick members uh they do not have the permission to ban members yet uh i recommend if you're gonna have a staff team and you're gonna have random people on your staff team kind of like i do um i don't know if random is the correct word but people that you wouldn't necessarily uh know in real life you know just people online so uh, i recommend you have an audit logs so you can make sure not only this but the text channel i'll have a video on how you do that and i'll have a video on how to make a staff structure in the link in the description down below 
Um, but I recommend you have an audit logs channel so you can make sure that no one's just kicking members randomly. Um, other than that, they can manage messages, which means they can delete some other people's messages. Mute members, which means server mute them and move them. They're, they are priority speakers now, so they can uh, speak over people when it's push to talk areas. And that's about it. So they pretty much are allowed to uh, manage the roles, kick people, and manage their messages. Uh, now we get to the administrator, which uh, this is where it really gets hefty. Um, the administrator, uh, you guys can probably see a big motif or a big theme. Never give anyone, uh, I would recommend never to give anyone manage webhooks or manage server permission. Um, this, the reason being is if someone has access to manage the webhooks, they can uh, add a, a malicious bot or something like that to your server, which can... Uh, steal people's info and stuff like that just i recommend don't have this turned on for anyone and then manage the servers don't add bots uh because that could actually like do terrible things change the server's name so once again just don't allow anyone to have these two permissions down here but once you uh get promoted to an administrator you now have the permission to manage channels along with view the server audit log um and then you also get the manage roles like you did before um, they do get to manage nicknames now, and they also now get to ban members. Uh, this is because an administrator should be someone that you trust, someone that's been on the team for a while. Um, personally, I only uh, promote people to administrator if they've been staff for at least a month, month, month and a half. Um, so we know that they're here for a while and they are trustworthy. But I've really only, right now I only have two administrators. I try to keep my staff team low. I think I have 12 or 15 staff right now. Um, but personally... I, I try to give not many people's administrator because it is a very trustworthy role. So, for instance, PJ has the staff role and Julio guy has the staff role. Um, so, this is our new server. Uh, we had an old one before, so PJ has been here for quite a while. This Ultimate Gaming Lounge, which is my server, has been open for uh, over a year now. But uh, if we do who is at PJ, which is one of the admin administrators, you can see that they joined... Um, on September 8th of 2020 and I think the server opened on September 8th give or take uh, we could see up here it opened I'm not sure honestly but uh, he, he joined on when the new server opened up so my point is is that he's been here for quite a while and he's an administrator so you want to make sure that who you're giving admin is trustworthy um, and then, so, along with the administrator permissions, you're going to want to uh, give them allowance to go down here and uh, server deafen people. Um, and per I, don't, I don't usually give out the administrator permission. If you're not going to allow everyone to have every single permission in the book, then uh, probably don't give them the administrator permission. Um, but other than that, we have the staff council, which, like the staff rule, just doesn't have many permissions it's the default permissions basic permissions because you don't want to mess around with that um and then we have the senior admin which has the exact same permissions as administrator they might have a few more up here yeah manage webhooks uh that's because senior admin is i would say senior admin is closest thing to owner closest thing to co-owner you know that should be someone that you trust with the hands of your server you know that's someone that you should trust major so um, they they pretty much have the same permissions as admin, just allow to edit webhooks. And the reason we have this is so they can look over the administrators. And then you obviously have the head of staff and all of these guys who pretty much have every permission in the book. But uh, if we go to the staff, we can see display. Uh, escape this real quick. Whoops. Go to roles. Staff, we have 12 staff right now. So yeah, I recommend you keep your staff team around 12, 15, 15 max. Um, I try to keep mine low. You guys can see I have more moderators than anything, and that's because, um, actually we have, I don't know. Yeah, we have, uh, four senior admins and two admins. Do we have four senior admins? Yeah, we do. Oh, actually, we, we have two senior admins. Uh, Madman and Activate are the head of staff and the server assistant, so... Technically, we only have two senior admins, two admins, and five mods. So, point is, make sure you're giving people staff who you trust and uh, who know are very, very talented at Discord and will 
are dedicated to your server. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't drag it on too long. Um, I went over all the permissions. If you guys want to make sure that you have your, your staff team is going well, you have the right structure, uh, I'll link a video in the description down below on how to do your staff team. And then I'll link a video on how to do your audit logs. Other than that, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll catch you around.